2020 is going to be our biggest year yet, and I'm dying to hear what you have to say about it. Twenty nineteen is coming to a close, and it's just mind blowing that it's not just the end of a year, but the end of a decade. I mean, think about how far you came in the past year, and think about how far you've come in the past nine years. I mean, it's mind blowing to think that you know twenty ten that was so long ago, and now we're rolling into twenty twenty in just a few days. But we can talk about all the stuff that we've done in the past year. I mean, we, we released a, a ton of content for me personally. We released a ton of content on CBT Nuggets. And, you know, whether they're small courses or like the Azure SQL Databases course um, or they're huge courses like Cisco DevNet or the AZ203, those were really challenging and fun for me personally uh, because I'm getting to roll up my sleeves and dive deep into these technologies, talking about them with people that I love, you guys. Uh, and now we're setting up for the next year, 2020. And really, what, what drives us? What drives us, right, are goals. Um, and when I say goals, you know, some people say, like, well, my goal for 2020 is getting the CCNA. Yeah, but for what? To what end? What's your real goal? When you get these certifications, what are you really trying to get out of them? Are you getting the certification so that you can uh, get the next jump in your career, so that you can take on new skills? Are you just intellectually curious and bored and wanted to try something new? I'm curious about that. Actually, comment below and let me know uh, what your goals are for 2020 and why. Why is that really your goal? See, for me personally, I'm so excited about the prospect of DevNet, uh, that DevNet, whether it's Cisco DevNet or the JNCIA DevOps, just the, the combination of automation code coming together to manage our infrastructure, net DevOps in general, uh, it's just such a fascinating topic to me. And learning how structured and organized it can be and the end results and how phenomenal they are, um, it's something that I really believe in. I, I really believe that, you know, maybe not this year, maybe not next year, maybe not in the next five years. But eventually, five or ten years from now, uh, I believe that it will be commonplace to have portions of your job automated. Scripting. You'll be the person automating it. You're not getting out, automated out of a job. Uh, but I really believe that this is the direction that things are heading. Ultimately, breaking down the barriers between developers and infrastructure. That's really the name of the goal. And I think the thing that really dawned on me when I was studying this stuff and learning this stuff and then eventually recording this stuff, um, it was that this isn't just for large organizations. This isn't just for the Amazons and the Googles of the world. Uh, this really, really can fit in at organizations of any size. I mean, Meraki is a small business or, you know, small to medium sized business application or tool, um, even though they can do, you know, large enterprise. Uh, but uh, the fact that you can do automated tasks and integration beyond that, it's was well, really mind blowing and cool to me personally. So I think for me, my goal, my number one goal for 2020 is to get Cisco DevNet certified. Go all the way, uh, go into professional. I'd love to do professional core first and then maybe dabble in security or collaboration. But uh, the end goal for me is to get Cisco DevNet certified and not for any sort of career jump or anything, but just because I believe uh, that that's future-proofing myself. I really believe that that's where things are going. But I do need to refresh my CCNA skills too. So that's another skill. Another um, goal for me is to like jump back into the CCNA game of things. I was recently watching some of um, Keith, Jeremy, and Chuck's stuff for the upcoming CCNA course. They're just so good at what they do, y'all. It, it's unfair. You know, I, I it's sometimes I say like I hate working next to them because they're just so good at what they do. Um, but you know, it's, it's really, uh, cool that, you know, I get the, the opportunity to watch their stuff some more. Cause I, you know, even though I work with them, I'm still a fan, I'm still a fan of their stuff. Um, so I really want to refresh my networking skills and my network game, but I have some other, uh, some other, um, goals this year too. I want to grow my YouTube channel some more. And, and when I grow that YouTube channel, I want to be giving back to the community when I do that. Uh, and just my way of saying thank you. So, you know, we're doing things like giving away an Amplify Alien router. And, you know, I, I might just give away another one of these when we're done. I don't know. I'm also looking over at my, my lab right now at a lot of equipment that's turned off. I'm looking at some Juniper switches, a Cisco switch, you know, a, a Dell server. Maybe that's some stuff that I should give away too and help the community out when they're learning. 
Um, I, you know, why not? I think that's something I'll, I'll consider doing in the next month or two. If that's something you're interested in, if you'd be interested in, you know, some, uh, some old Juniper Gigabit or Cisco Gigabit switches, you know, holler in the comments again and let me know, uh, heck yeah, or, you know, no, nah, we'd rather some new stuff or whatever. Just, just tell me what it is that you're looking for, what you need in the community, and I'll see what I can do to help out. Learning-wise, some other things that I'm interested in. Kubernetes. My next course that's coming up on CBT Nuggets is going to be Kubernetes. I, I love Docker in general. I love containerization um, and orchestration and automation is, well, you know, not a stranger to it. Um, I, I, I love seeing how it was applied to the network um, with Ansible and uh, the prospect of digging into Kubernetes a little bit deeper than I have been. Um, and then, you know, doing some coursework on that. I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. And like I said, Network automation isn't stopping there. Um, I, I've read this book once already, Mastering Python Networking. Um, I'll bump my head against the microphone, and then I'll, uh, I'll probably read it again. You know, there's the cool thing about mastering Python networking is it's not geared for uh, just Cisco. It's not geared for just Juniper. It, it's got multiple platforms here, uh, and it does things like, you know, graphical design, like getting into the big stuff. Um, that way you can actually see uh, telemetry, you know, in progress here. Big, big topics on the DevNet Professional, by the way. So, um, yeah, my goals for 2020, right there. Um, I want to get better at DevNet. I want to get better at network automation. I want to be a master of it, like the book says. Um, I want to get super deep in Kubernetes while I do a course for that. Um, grow this YouTube channel and give back to the community that's helping me grow it. So, again, let me hear what you're up to in 2020. I think it's going to be a killer year for all of us. And again, guys, if you like content like this, like this, if you're enjoying what we're talking about here, do me a favor, hit that like button, and don't be afraid to subscribe either. Subscribing goes a really, really long way for YouTube content creators. It's free to click, so you lose nothing, but you help people like me out. And ultimately, as this channel grows, I'll be able to do better, bigger giveaways and publish more content that you care about. All right, thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.